Aloy! It's you, isn't it? It is Aloy, isn't it? I'm remembering your name correctly? Are you the old friend Tirsa told me about? I don't know you. <laughs> I see you don't recognize me. Well, it was a long time ago. Teb is my name. You were half my size when you saved me from a herd of machines. I remember. You tried to thank me. I never forgot that day. All these years, I hoped to see you again, if you came to run in the Proving. As you can see, I didn't turn out to be much of a hunter. I served the tribe as a stitcher instead, a maker of garments and armor. In preparation for this day, I've made an outfit for you. I hope you like it. What's it going to cost? Cost? <laughs> Nothing. Consider the thanks I tried to give years ago. Long overdue. There. Seems to fit you perfectly. Uh, th thank you, Teb. I've never had anything like this before. Well, it's yours. I think you'll find it affords more protection than what you were wearing. Every outfit offers some advantage. It's always a trade-off. Anyway, I shouldn't keep you any longer. Head for the Matriarch's Lodge if you want to find Tirsa. You'll know it when you see it. A large wooden building with an angry mob waiting outside. Tirsa said something about envoys from another tribe? Yes, that's what the mob's angry about. Karja visiting our sacred land for the first time in years. I'd expect to see some tomatoes fly, maybe rocks. Hopefully not spears. In any case, be ready to duck. Jog! Get down from there! Bad enough, you're drunk. Why do Listen you have to go climbing now. houses? But you'll oh, have to tell this when I'm wrong. To go climbing on other people's Aloy, over here! The Karja did to our tribe. In a moment, we shall bless the proving. But first, we have guests to welcome. For two years, we have been at peace with the Karja. It is time to restore our bonds of trade with Meridian. These envoys come to us under a banner of peace. <clears throat> An annunciation of gratitude written Killers by the and hand of yeah. Sun King yeah. of Killers Ar and Slavers! Uh, hey, hey. Luminance of Hold the... your fruit, nor... Uh, uh. Nor if faithful. Hold your fruit. Now, I'm Azuram, not Karja. So I'll put it to you straight. The 13th Sun King was a murderous bung. <laughs> oh, he was. He's a tyrant and a monster. Raided my tribe for blood sacrifice, just like yours. My own sister was taken. I hated the Karja. But the 13th King is dead. Two years now. And who killed him? The 14th. Yeah. Not because he, he lusted for power, but because someone had to put an end to his father's atrocities. Yeah! yeah. The message that this poor priest means to read is an apology, straight from the lips of the 14th king. So please, can't you lend him your ears? Thank you. <clears throat> An enunciation of gratitude, written by the hand of Sun King Avad, 14th luminance of the Radiant Line. <clears throat> People of the Zora. Unknown device? Proving, Where did he find a focus? No, the Karja stand with you. You're the only other person I've ever seen wearing a focus. Where did you get yours? What? A Nora? Wearing one of these? That's impossible. Your tribe fears the old places, forbids them. Who says I'm like other Nora? Why, well, yeah. I guess you're not. If you've gone delving in the ruins of the metal world. Ah! 
What's wrong? Apologies. Uh, malfunction. Oh, Lynn? You making friends with locals, are we? I'll... I'll come back. Wait. No. Uh, we'll talk later. Have to go. Whoa. Well, I guess he's more hungover than I thought. <laughs> hey. You got the same trinket that Olin has on his head. Since when did those become fashionable? His name is Olin? Who is he? And where did he get one of these? Ah, he's just a scrounger with friends in high places. Now he spends half his time digging for artifacts, the other half drinking or dicing. As for the trinket, well, I guess he dug it up somewhere. Just a weird old jewel he sticks on his face. I mean, no offense, it looks great on you. I thought your friend was gonna go down in a hail of fruit, but you really calmed the crowd. Uh, thanks. I, I wasn't sure I could do it. Lenora is still pissed with the Karja about the Red Raids. And who can blame them? I wanted to ask you something else. If you want. But I'll also be around after that blessing thing, if that'd be a better time to talk. I never heard anything about Red Raids growing up. What were those? Your tribe was at war and you didn't even know? <laughs> were you kept hidden away? Did you have overprotective parents or something? I grew up as an outcast, shunned by the tribe. Oh, yeah, I've heard the Nora do that. That seems cruel, if you ask me. But even an outcast knows about the derangement of the machines, right? How they get deadlier every year? Well, the mad Sun King figured if he spilled enough blood to the Sun God, it would calm the machines. Didn't work. But for years, he raided the tribes and took captives for sacrifice. My sister among them. The Nora put up a good fight, but lives were lost. Your sister was taken captive and sacrificed. That's terrible. <laughs> captive, yes. Sacrificed, no. It takes more than a few Karja to finish Ursa. She got away. And now she's my captain. Captain of the entire vanguard. Favored by the Sun King himself. How did she survive? Oh, well, that's a story, all right, but it takes a while to tell. Maybe another time over a drink or three? Or just come to Meridian and meet her yourself. I think you'd like each other. You're both rather, uh, direct. You said the machines have been getting more dangerous every year. Yeah. I don't have to tell you that, right? First I've heard of it. Oh, I'm sorry. I just assumed everyone knew. Well, the way I hear it, 15, 20 years ago, the machines weren't always pissed off like they are now. When a hunter came at them, they'd spook and run. So it was hard to take them down, but not dangerous, so long as he was smart enough to jump out of the way. But then the derangement starts up and everything changes. Now, when a hunter fires a shot, the machines snarl and charge right at him. A few more years pass and they start attacking people on sight. Going anywhere becomes a major risk. If that wasn't bad enough, entirely new kinds of machines start showing up. Bigger, meaner, and heavily armed. Like the Sawtooth. Yeah, ten years ago, that one. But every couple of years or so, something worse comes along. Believe me. So what's making it happen? Well, no one knows. And the machines, well, they aren't telling. If the Karja have such a cruel history, how did you end up serving them? The last king and his men were butchers. But the new king wants peace. There's nothing cruel about that. Besides, the Karja don't just fight, they build. But take Meridian. Next to it, everything else is just a bunch of sticks and stones. I want to ask you about something you said before. Ask away. I should make my way to the Blessing. Yeah. Look, maybe I shouldn't say this, but... <laughs> it's obvious that you don't belong in this backwater. I mean, you're smart, you're obviously capable, and, well, I mean, look at you. Uh, what are you talking about? You know what. 
All right, if you ever visit Meridian, look me up. I'll show you around, make introductions. It'll be a whole new life, if you want it. Anyway, I have to go to that blessing thing, too. So, uh, see you around, maybe? High Matriarch tears has gone too far this time. Invite me, those blood...